Hi there, let's add with a 10 frame. We're going to use a 10 frame to help solve some addition equations. So, let's go ahead and get started. Let's add with a 10 frame. We're going to take our first equation, which is 1 plus 1, and we're going to use markers for our 10 frame to help solve this equation. So, we're going to put 1 and 1 more, and let's count those up. 1, 2. So, 1 plus 1 equals 2. Let's take another equation, 1 plus 2, and let's go ahead and use our markers. We're going to put 1 and then 2 more, and let's count them up. 1, 2, 3. So, 1 plus 2 equals 3. Let's look at the equation 1 plus 3. Let's use one of our markers and then three more and count them up. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1 plus 3 equals 4. The equation 1 plus 4. Let's put one marker and then four more and count them all up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1 plus 4 equals 5. Here's another equation, 1 plus 5. So I'm going to use one marker and then I'm going to put five more markers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'm going to count them all up. So I can count them all up one at a time, one, two, three, four, five, six, but I can also see that that first row of the tens frame has already has five in it. So I could say five and just go ahead and add that one more, which is six. Either way, one plus five equals six. Here's another equation, one plus six. So there's our one, and then six more, and count them up. Again, I could count them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or I could see that there's five on the first line, and then just adding two more, five, counting on two more, five, six, seven. My answer is seven. One plus six equals seven. Here we go looking at the next problem, 1 plus 7. So put one marker and then 7 more, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 more. I can go ahead and count them all, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or I can say, okay, there's 5 and then 6, 7, 8. So either way, 1 plus 7 equals 8. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to look at the equation 1 plus 8. I put one, one marker and 8 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then I can count them all up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Or I can say there's 5 and then count up from there. 6, 7, 8, 9. So 1 plus 8 equals 9. <laughs> Okay, here's another equation, 1 plus 9. My one marker and then 9 more, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And now this looks really funny because my whole 10 frame is filled up, so let's go ahead and count them all first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I can see that I have 10 markers in my 10 frame. That's why it's called a 10 frame. So I could count that way or I could say I have 5 and then count up 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Or I would also just know that this whole 10 frame is filled up, so I have 10. 1 plus 9 equals 10. Okay, let's take something different. Let's do a 2 plus 2. All the other ones have been a 1 plus a number. Let's do 2 plus 2. So this time I'm going to put two markers, 1, 2, and then I'm going to add two more markers, 1, 2. And again, I'm going to count them all up. 
one, two, three, four, and so two plus two equals four. Here's another equation, two plus three, my two markers, and then three more, one, two, three, and I can see, right now I can see that that first line is filled up, so I already know that there's five without having to count. If you still need to count, go ahead, but you should know that that first line of markers represents five. So my answer, two plus three equals five. <laughs> Alright, 2 plus 4. Let's go ahead and put 2 markers and then 4 more. 1, 2, 3, 4. And I already know that that first row has 5 in it, so I shouldn't have to count 5. I can see that there's 5 there. So 5 and then 1 more counting on 5, 6. So 2 plus 4 equals 6. <laughs> Alright, 2 plus 5. Go ahead and put 2 markers and then put 5 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And again, I can see that that whole row has 5 in it. There's already 5 there. And then looking at 2 more, counting up 2 more, 5, 6, 7. So 2 plus 5 equals 7. <laughs> Okay, two plus six. You should already have this. Let's go ahead and put two in there. And then six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I see that I have five, so I'm gonna count up from five, six, seven, eight. So two plus six equals eight. All right, here's another one, two plus seven. So let's go ahead and put our two markers and then seven more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And here's another thing to look at. I know that my whole 10 frame has 10 spots, but one spot is missing. So just by looking at this, I should know the answer. In case you don't, know that the first line has five, and then we're gonna count up six, seven, eight, nine. Did you guess that? Did you know that there was nine? Okay, so two plus seven equals nine. Now we're gonna look at two plus eight. So my two markers, and then eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You should know this answer just by looking at the 10 frame. Without having to count, you should know that your answer is 10. And that's because the whole 10 frame holds 10 markers. Okay, if you didn't know, you could go ahead and count them all up, or you could say there's five on the top and count up from there, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, let's go ahead and go on. Now we're gonna try working with a three. So three plus three. Let's go ahead and add my three markers. One, two, three, and then three more. One, two, three. And I know that there's five on the top line there. I can see that there's five. And then counting up one more is six. If I don't know that there's five, I could count them all, but I do. So I know that my answer is six. Three plus three is six. <laughs> Okay, let's look at three plus four. Put my three markers in there and four more. One, two, three, four. I know that I have five on that top row there, so five, counting up, six, seven. So I know that my answer, three plus four, is seven. All right, three plus five. Go ahead and put three in there and then five more. One, two, three, four, five. I could flip this problem around also. I could see that five go on the top row and three on the bottom if it made it easier for me to solve this equation. But I know that I have five, so I'm gonna count up six, seven, eight. So three plus five is eight. <laughs> So now we've got three plus six. Put your three markers in there and six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Oops, I showed you the answer too soon, but you should have known that because it's missing one spot there. I know that my whole 10 frame holds 10, and since it's only missing one, my answer would be 9. Okay, now we have 3 plus 7. So I'm going to go ahead and put my 3 markers in there. There's 3, and then I'm going to put 7 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, you should know this answer. My 10 frame is completely filled up, so my answer is 10. I shouldn't have to count. I should already know. I have 5 on the top, 5 on the bottom, and that makes 10. Here's another problem, and this one is 4 plus 4. So I'm going to put my 4 markers in there. 1, 2, 3, 4. I have 4, and then I need 4 more. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, I really could look at this. If I take the fact that this has a 10 frame, and now there's 2 spots missing, I could solve the equation that way. Or, I could say I have 5 on the top row, and I'm going to count up 6, 7, 8. I could solve it that way. And if I really needed to, I could count them all individually. But we're getting really good here. So we know that 4 plus 4 is 8. Okay, 4 plus 5. So I'll put my 4 markers in there. I can see that there's my four markers. I don't have to really count every time. I can see there's four markers there. So I'm putting the four and I need five more. One, two, three, four, five. Again, I could have flipped this around. If it would have been easier, I put my five on the top row and then just know that there's four more. Now this equation is easy one to solve also using my 10 frame because I can see I'm just missing one um, marker from my 10. So you could count it, you could figure out the equation that way, or you could say I have 5 on the top and count up 6, 7, 8, 9. Either way, your answer should be 9. 4 plus 5 equals 9. Okay, so now we're looking at 4 plus 6. So let's go ahead and put our 4 markers in there, and then 6 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and you should know your answer. Because the 10 frame is completely filled up, and the 10 frame only holds 10. So 4 plus 6 equals 10. Okay, so this time we're going to do 5 plus 5. So I don't even have to really think about this. I know that the top part of my 10 frame holds 5. So I'm going to put in those 5. And then I know that um, the bottom holds 5 also. So I'm going to put in those 5. And I know that my whole 10 frame is completely filled up. So my answer is 10. 5 plus 5 is 10. So that's the last equation that we're going to work on. So go ahead and practice working with your 10 frames. And all those problems that we just did, they can be flipped around and you could practice them another way. Just have fun. The 10 frame is a tool that will help you solve the equations as you're learning to be, as you're beginning to learn to add. So thanks for visiting me. Have fun.